With Alabama's current stay-at-home order expiring on Thursday, many local businesses are getting ready to possibly reopen. Our Kelly Kennedy has more on how they're preparing. Small businesses deemed non-essential have been hit hard by this pandemic, and many of them are eager to open back up. We're just ready and we miss our customers and our customers are like family to us because we're with them more than we are our families. We yeah. downloaded all the instructions on how to be safe, what to do, the six foot spacing at the register, the have all the cleaning supplies yeah, the and everything. True South Boutique in Gunnersville opened up in March and had to close their doors less than a month later. They've been going live on Facebook trying to stay afloat. We get down here, we get open, get hit with this coronavirus scare, everybody shut down. Uh, we have now uh, sales went in half the first week. The next week they were basically non-existent. So two weeks open mm -hmm. and we're dead. Beverly Norrell with Classic Touch Hair Salon hasn't been able to work at all. She says she's ready to get back to work, even though it may be a little different. Our customers, I'm sure they'll probably have to wear a mask. So it's going to be a, you know, that's going to be a challenge with the colors and especially men's cuts around their ears and stuff, trying to keep the mask on while we're doing that. So it is going to be a challenge, but we're all ready for it. Right now, there are still no clear guidelines on exactly how and when non-essential businesses in Alabama will open back up, but many hope they'll get the go-ahead this Friday. There's people wanting to get out and, and shop, and um, we just, we're just really ready to get it open. I actually already have some appointments down on Friday, so... <laughs> And I'm pretty booked Friday and Saturday if we get to go back. Businesses in Tennessee and Georgia have already started to reopen their doors. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News. You can watch Governor Ivey's press conference tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. And that will be on the Rocket City Now website and our WZDX Facebook page.